Selena Gomez aka Alex was bisexual in Wizards of Waverly Place. Showrunner Peter Morietta confirms queer romance theories. Selena Gomez indeed played a bisexual character with her iconic role of Alex, showrunner shares details as they confirm fan theories. Read on. Selena Gomez rose to immense fame with her leading role in Wizards of Waverly Place. The actress played the character of Alex Russo in the Disney sitcom, and fans loved her chemistry with Justin, played by David Henry, and Jennifer Stone, Harper. But most eyeballs were raised about her equation with Hailey Kiyoko, aka Stevie, and the producers have now admitted that they did try an inclusion of the LGBTQ plus community in their own way. Scroll below for more details. Hailey Kiyoko made her entry into WOVP in Season 3 as Stevie Nichols. She instantly struck the chords with Alex. The duo had met in detention, and they had undeniable chemistry. While one would have loved to see the creators explore the sexuality of Selena's characters, the producers say that the era wasn't right. Producer Peter Morietta spoke up on the Wizards of Waverly Place podcast hosted by Jennifer Stone and David DeLucy and spoke about the mystery around Selena Gomez's sexuality in the sitcom. He revealed, I wished we could have played more with what was quite obvious to a lot of us, the relationship between Stevie and Alex. But we weren't able to in that time. It was pretty clear to all of us what that relationship was. That would have been fun. The Wizards of Waverly Place producer continued, we got as close as we could. It was pretty much right there. Disney Channel has had queer characters. They did it. At that time, it wasn't a thing. Selena Gomez would have certainly been seen in a homosexual romance had WOVP been created in today's time, added Peter. But she had also dated several men in the show, making the character possibly bisexual. However, interestingly, Selena Gomez was seen playing a queer character in Only Murders in the Building. Her steamy scene with Cara Delevingne was quite the talk of the town.